I think of warrior ethos, I think of you doing your best in everything that you do. And not only doing your best, but ensuring those around you are doing their best as well. Because there is no I in team. So I understand that me, my calling is to be an officer in the United States Air Force. I know that I cannot go and promote and do well if I'm not taking care of my people. And that's what it's all about ultimately. And just like pushing them to be great because if it's okay if I have warrior ethos, but that means nothing if my like my subordinates as well as my teammates don't have it as well. So I think of like just giving it your all no matter what you're doing. Even if it's like doing PT or doing an assignment, just doing giving it your all all the time. I think it's important that we discuss warrior ethos at NCLS because ultimately this is a leadership laboratory, this is a leadership institution. We know that warrior ethos is the backbone behind anything that we do and it's obviously something that we need to continue to hone and manifest in our actions and then we need to talk about it every now and then because like it's something that if you don't practice or talk about it kind of gets thrown to the wayside and that's not something that we don't want to do because that obviously if we have a weak backbone in regards to warrior ethos and then it kind of disintegrates anything that we're trying to do. I am Cadet First Class Tierra Franklin and I am a warrior.